Uh, well, we look at every case uh, individually and based on the merits. We've learned that more than a thousand civil unrest cases have been referred to the Multnomah County District Attorney's Office, yet less than a dozen have been resolved. K2's Genevieve Rayom is live for us in Portland, and the DA has rejected a majority of these cases, Genevieve. Yeah, Deb, 80%. And that's not necessarily surprising, as DA Mike Schmidt has said previously that he didn't want to prosecute these lower level civil unrest crimes and instead was going to focus on those more serious crimes. So I dug into the court data to see where those more serious crimes in those cases stand. The new data from the Multnomah County District Attorney's Office provides a clearer picture into how the civil unrest cases are being prosecuted. The DA's office tells us 1,108 criminal cases have been referred to them. The DA rejected nearly 900 of those. They've followed up on 194 cases and so far nine of those have been resolved. There are also a few dozen cases pending review by a deputy district attorney to figure out a charging decision. But now I want to circle back to the hundreds of rejected cases. The DA's office explaining why, telling us 64% of referred cases got the boot in the interest of justice. And 10% due to insufficient evidence. 61 cases needed follow up from law enforcement, and 18 cases didn't progress due to legal impediments. Now, the DA's office tells me every investigation has a unique prosecution timeline. Um, that plus the pandemic are part of the reason these cases might be taking a long time to make their way through the system. Deb, Steve? So, Genevieve, I know you've been digging into those nine cases. What do those sentences look like? Well, the cases the DA is actually picking up are the ones that he says are more serious. But in the most cases, from my research, the sentences are just probation. We did ask DA Schmidt if that punishment is sufficient, and I'm working on that story for you coming up in an hour. That's